we also have the possibility to handle input parameters on our services. So let's take a look at this quick example. So once again, I will create a new XSJS. So new file and get EP list params. This one will handle input parameters. So the code is very similar to the previous one, but at this time we're going to replace the hard-coded parameters by these other functions. So what we're going to do now is having the same query but and the same function, the show data function on top, but the parameters, the card type and the number of records are going to be retrieved by the function. So whoever calls this function needs to pass both parameters in order for it to perform well. And here you can see that we are expecting two parameters. One is called pp type, the other one is top. And the content of those parameters will be evaluated by the card type and the record variables. I get those three pieces of information, pass it to the show data function and have the same execution. So let's start this one. Of course, we're going to have an error because we are not setting any parameters in here. So we're basically trying to execute a query with no values. But we can set these parameters here when we're calling the function. So question mark to say that from now on, I'm not looking for an address, but setting parameters. And bp type equal L, for example, and top equal And here, I assume we only have two leads on this database, but we can set this for the suppliers, for example. And here we have, so filtering suppliers by three records, I can set for five records, for example, and also change here for customers. So now you understand how you can create an XSJS to handle input parameters.